Welcome to another episode of JKV Outdoors. Today is a pretty sad day. You might be wondering, Jake, where you been for a couple of weeks? Well, I've been here, fixing up the house, painting, fixing up all the little things, moving stuff, because we sold this house. This house, along with all these chicken coops, along with the 80 acres of land that we have here. Uh, this cabin is located in an aisle, which is pretty close to Malax. It's only about a 20 minute drive. It's also about 10 minutes away from Knife Lake. And sadly, today is the last day. Today is the day that we've closed on this house. And it is now officially going on to the next buyer. Well, tomorrow's the official day, but today is the last day we're gonna be here. And we're just gonna enjoy it as much as we can. I got a few drone shots of the house and the land and the trees. I can still see the trails even with all the green. And today, we are gonna go on a very last ATV trip through all of the trails and I might even sit in the tree stands one last time. So stay tuned, I'll take you along with us. Let's go. Okay. My butt is too sweaty. All right, me and Mary, the kids are gonna go inside, play pool for one last time. Me and Mary, we're huh? gonna head yeah, out. No, I'm not gonna play pool. Alright, let's go. Here, Mary, you gotta hold on to this. Hold on to it? Yeah. How? Ready? We're not gonna go fast. So many memories here, so many missed deers. I'm always the first one to see a deer, but I'm always the first one to miss. middle stand right here if you sit in this spot you would be guaranteed a deer no matter what this is literally in the middle of the entire land and all all of the deer come through here
trail to my brother's deer stand. It's all the way over there. We won't be going to it. But his his deer stand is over by marshland and that's where they usually sleep and they usually the big bucks usually come through this way. Man, it's gonna be missed. Here we go, we'll continue on this road. It goes all the way to the other side of the of the property. There's an old tree stand over there, but sadly, the trees fell. The tree stand sits on four trees that are at each corner. And sadly, two of them fell, so half of the tree stand is gone. And we haven't built it since, but this area is all the way in the back corner of the land. This is a really nice area too. Man, and all the bears, all the, all the bears, all the big bugs come through as well. And there's nobody behind because it's owned by this it's owned by this owner over here their land is parallel to ours and then wraps around as well so there's nobody out there usually it's just us hunting out here and it's really quiet and I love it but and and I never got a chance to hunt out here before sadly but man, this is the spot that Cody got one time, his first deer when he came out with us. But yeah, this place definitely will be missed. Lots of deers, lots of, lots of land, lots of trees. I love how green everything is here. As you can see here, there's these uh, little orange ties and spray paint on the trees. This is the border. So what they do on the other side is that they mark all their trees and on our side, we mark all of our trees. This is a really good way to indicate whose land is what so that we don't ever get mixed up and wander off into theirs or you know they wander off into ours. But there's never been any problems. There's always been great communication between all of us. You know, if we need to go onto their land, we just let them know. If they need to come to ours, we let them know. But this is a this is a great way to make sure you don't pass and trespass onto other people's property.
there you have it. That is the trails through 80 acres of land. This is a beautiful piece of land. It's given us so much, so many deer, so many squirrel. Turkey roams through, we've seen pheasants, a few dove, lots of grouse. We saw lots of grouse. There's even porcupine. We've seen porcupine, there's bears. If you like uh, chicken of the woods, there's even mushrooms. There's a few of those out here too. Lots of memories. But more will be made. The reason why we're selling is because we want to get into Airbnb and also let you guys experience what we experience. And uh, sadly, this, this place is just a little bit too seasonal to Airbnb out. So this place will definitely be missed. Had lots of fun but there will be more fun to be had in future endeavors. So thanks for tuning in. Catch you on the next one. There we go. Oh, hopefully the lighting is good in here. It's pretty empty. This was our last meal, McDonald's. Let's do a quick walkthrough. Here's a bathroom. Here's a closet. Here's a bedroom. This house is three bedrooms, one bathroom with a downstairs. Hi, Mace. I was gonna interview you. Stop. This was my bedroom. This is my parents' bedroom. Can we go, um, can I turn Here's the bathroom. Repainted, new lights, really bright in here. Looks really nice. There's a kitchen.
I see this face, and I said, Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I reached for the gun and it went between two trees. So I grabbed it real quick, and it dude, it wasn't but 20 yards, man. I put it on the rest of here, and then as soon as it cleared, I just boom 20 shot. yards, 20 yards, dude. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I did everything like I just moved, I was moving like crazy, I got the gun, and it just <laughs> wasn't looking. I don't know why. Play.